So we now know the 24 nations that will make up Euro 2020, but of those 24 nations, which 16 will make it through to the knockouts? Well, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the nations that I think that will make it through to the second stage from Group B. That's right, folks, back once again with another prediction show today. We're taking a look at the Euro 2020 early door predictions for the old group stages, and we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new to the channel, smash your subscribe button to keep your bang out to date with all things Euro 2020, Bap and Rose related, world football. We got it all here under Waruski. That's right, folks. So we do know the nations that are there. Finally, they're over the line, and hopefully in the summer we'll have a fantastic football tournament to get ourselves all excited about. Now, of course, I want to stress right here, right now, that these are my early door predictions, and they are like to change uh, once the tournament gets closer and we'll tell you we will revisit these predictions of course because you never know injuries suspensions form all that stuff kind of goes out of the window but anyway before we jump in the deep end I want a big big shout out of course to the patrons who are supporting the channel behind the scenes that's right let's give them a, a short sharp round of applause you know who you are laddios uh, I do appreciate the support especially through times just like this uh, as we try to kick on the, the, the channel onto another level and if you are interested in becoming the latest member of the Patreon gang check out the link down below in the old, uh, in the old video right down here also it's enlisted in the old description alongside my twitch twitter facebook all that kind of stuff is all listed in there so make sure to check it out so without further ado so let's take a look at the, the so let's take a look at the predictions for group b now before we jump in the deep end we'll take a little look at the nations that of course occupy group b so let's get into it here we go bloody i was kicking it off with these bad boys some familiar names for england of course it is the danes the denmark of course former winners of the euros back in 92 uh they actually qualified in 18th of november 2019 as group d runners up uh they've been uh, to the Euros eight times previous uh again winning it in 1992 and last time they were there though it was back in 2012, so they missed a couple uh, at the very least. Well, at least they missed one. Uh, so they'll be back and they'll be uh, hopefully to, to do well and in Group B. Joining them in Group B will be... <laughs> it will be bloody hell Finland. How many times do I have to say B? Uh, this is actually the debutantes. One of the, the, one, the one of two debutantes this time around uh, as Finland came through Group J as runners-up back in 15th of November. So uh, exciting times for Finland and their population of football lovers. Uh, joining them out in Group B will be Belgium as well. Well, and well, we were one of the favourites, I think. Uh, group I winners uh, back in uh, the 10th of October 2019. Well, I think they were the first nation to qualify. Uh, so they will sealed the deal as winners of Group they actually have been to the Euros five times previous, and the last time, of course, was back in 2016. So they're there. Alongside those will be, I believe, this is Russia. Uh, Russia coming at you now. Uh, this is their four, 12th time, 12th appearance at the Euros. Uh, only second uh, behind Germany as the, the nation that's been at the Euros the most. They qualified as Group I runners up also on the 13th of uh, October 2019. And they're also, I think, one of the host nations, I believe. We'll, uh, and in fact, we'll talk more about Russia in a minute. Uh, before we Jump the deep and take a look at those picks and all that. I'll give you a kind of a outline of the who is favourites. In fact, uh, Denmark come at you at eighty to one to lift up the trophy at the end of it. Russia one hundred to one. The Finns uh, one of the outsiders, but not the complete underdogs. But they are three hundred to one. With of course Belgium uh, joint favourites alongside England and France as five to one favourites to lift the trophy. So that's the teams or the other nations. What about the matches? Well, here we bloody well go. Group B come at you thick and fast. We're going to start it all off uh, on the twelfth of June. Now I want to stress that these are my early door picks they're likely to change as we get closer to the actual games but i wanted to let you know what my vibe is right here right now you could do the same by putting your own picture predictions down below uh, in the old comment section and we'll take a little look at them when we come back uh closer to the thing what you guys think will be in your first second third fourth uh, and also want to stress that the top two nations qualify automatically for the knockouts the third team will play the waiting game so we'll have to wait and see who will go through to the knockouts and again uh, once we get towards the end of the week or the end of the the groups we will do a knockout or well, what I think will happen uh, for the rest of the tournament. So come stick around for that one. It's going to be exciting. So our group B kicking all off on the 12th of June uh, over in Copenhagen. That's right. The Danes uh, alongside Russia hosting uh, a lot of these games here. So let's take a look at this one. So a little hung form should, should pay... Uh, a bit of attention, or a bit of swing to, to where these results go. Uh, of course, it's a Scandinavian affair. All eyes will be on this one, of course, over in Denmark. 
And I do expect the Danes to come out on top. Not big, not, not, not convincing, but just enough to get the three points. 2-1 win for the Danes to give themselves a big old boost already as they edge, try, try to edge close already to the next stages. Next up, Belgium, though, take it on Russia, who will be technically at home as they take, as they play at the Kruskovsky Stadium out in St. Petersburg on the same day. Now, again, I did say this in the Group A predictions, and I'll probably say it throughout. These The venues are likely to change with, of course, COVID and the spread, unless things dramatically improve uh, as the summer gets closer. Uh, if so, it could the whole tournament could actually be played out in Russia. So that could actually give a big, a big old boost for Russia as we edge closer to the tournament itself. So these two, so of course, Belgium are one of the favourites, but Russia do have uh, host priorities and all that. But I'm still expect Russia to come. I'm sorry, Belgium to come out on top of that three-one win. Uh, they're going to show their dominance. Of course, they'll do some flexing uh, to get themselves uh, out on out of this group, out on top. Uh, and then up next up uh, on the 60th of June for Finland taking on Russia again over in Russia. Uh, the Kroskovsky Stadium will be the venue, uh, and Finland will get uh, will lose. Once again, 2-1 win are going in favour of Russia to give themselves a big old boost. But the Danes taking on Belgium, um, which they I think they were the Nations League together, were they not? And this will be on the 17th of June. And again, this will be over in Copenhagen with a bit of an advantage perhaps for the Denmark. But they're up against one of the big boys, one of the favourites. Uh, the golden generation of Belgium continues. But they will continue to dominate this group with back-to-back -back wins uh, and actually put themselves probably already through to the next stages. Uh, Russia with a win, Denmark with a win, and Finland got it all to do against the juggernauts, that is Belgium, as we enter to match number three. Uh, those games will take place on the 21st of June. Russia take on Copenhagen, of course. Which way will it go? It's, it's, it's the two hosts, or the many hosts for this group. It's over in Copenhagen, as of recording right here, right now, at the Parken Stadium. Uh, will Russia get the advantage? Will they get through? I can't really separate the two sides. That's right. I'm on the fence on this one with a 1-1 draw, which will put them uh, one of them in the waiting game, uh, of course. Meanwhile, the final game of the group, same time, same day, same kickoff. Finland up against Belgium, and that will be over at the Kristofsky Stadium and Russia, St. Petersburg. And again, It'll be three wins on the spin for Belgium out in Group B. Wow, wow, we wow. What do we think about that then? Of course, Belgium looking good. Uh, Russia and Denmark scrapping it out for that second spot, that illustrious second spot. And, and it looks like uh, one of those two nations will be a little bit disgruntled with it, with it, with it, with the third spot and the waiting game. Finland look like they're out. Can I confirm that? Yes, I can. They're coming Finland with an absolute zero goal difference, zero points on the tally, a negative four goal difference, uh, three defeats out of three. Into third spot, the unluckiest nation in the group will be Denmark. They will have to play the waiting game. They're not the only unluckiest nation, that is Finland. Uh, but Denmark will have to play the waiting game. They'll have to see if their points tally is enough to get themselves through. According to yesterday's video, it might be looking okay for them at the moment. Uh, but into second spot, Mother Russia are there. Fourth spot, or four points on the board. Same amount as Denmark. Uh, they just scored one more uh, goal better than uh, the Denmark. That is one of the... the, the attributes that will that will make those decisions if a situation like this was to arise. But of course, Belgium running away with it with a 100% record, nine points on the board uh, with an impressive uh, six goal difference uh, for them to seal the deal. And just in case you can't see it, I'm blocking the, the blocking the way. Here it is for your leisure so you can have a little look at it yourselves. So yeah, Finland out, Denmark wait, Russia through, so are Belgium. And that is Group B. That's pretty much all I've got for you today, folks. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that thumbs up. And if you are new, bang the old subscribe button. I keep your bang out today. With all things Black and Rose related, Euro 2020 related, world football related, boys and girls. we got it all here under one Ruski. And again, if you want to keep up to date with all the, the goings on in regards to Euro 2020, make sure you check out the description down below. Links to my other social media platforms are on there. Twitter, Twitch, Facebook. And of course, if you want to support the channel in another way, you could become the latest member of the VIP gang, the Broverhood. That is the Patreons, boys. So make sure you check that link out down below uh, and see if that's up your alley. And again, I want to stress that we'll be revisiting these picks uh, as the tournament edges closer. Uh, we'll do match day by match day predictions as they come around. I don't know how in, in depth I'm going to go with those. We might even do individual match previews. I don't know, depending on my time and what's available, all that sort of stuff. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Uh, and also, we'll be looking at DigiCash. You'll be coming out to do our own predictions. Uh, we're going to be doing squad pr uh, squad predicts as well. Revisit those. We did some of them last time around when we thought the tournament was edging closer, but we'll revisit at them of course uh, uh, names and faces do change so we have extensive coverage of the Euro 2020 this summer and of course as we edge closer but please be sure to give the video some loving and I'll see you all next time for some more